act like you ain't and you saying that you won't work and you want you not gonna go out and you go out three days in a row. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Stop. No, 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 no. no. Fellas, y'all may see me smiling just now, but this is no laughing matter. I think me personally, you know, obviously the guy's in his feelings. She's indifferent, and that's probably what's pissing him off more at this point. But I've always said a man getting his heart broken, obviously this guy's heart is broken from that, knowing that his girl is got a side dude or dealing with another guy because he, you know, she's young at the end of the day. It's a rite of passage for us men to get your heart broken, man. Maybe even several times till you learn, you know, that this is, you, you self-love comes first. And I appreciate him having his friends or his friends were there to actually like, yo, bro, like relax. And they can't relate because that pain at the time is like, especially when you start drinking and you're like, you the the memories are playing in your mind of somebody just shout out to O'Shea. What is that was him? That's playing in your mind that this is going on with the woman that I love, all the good good things that you all the good memories, all the places you've been, you know, and she's expressing this with some other guy who may not even be doing the same thing that you're doing. How you are vulnerable to her and she's just looking at you like and you're just like, you want to put hands on her because it hurts you so bad that she has to feel you through your fists to get your point across. When at the end of the day, guys, it's easier said than done. I know I'm talking, but then what? She's just going to magically come running to you. She's going to magically, she's going to feel sorry for you and want to stay with you. You don't want that, guys. You want to be able to be like, hey, it was great. Do you? And I guess that's the type of time we on. You know, if that's how you want to, if that's how you want to do, that's how you want to rock out. I want you to be happy. You know. But hey, I'm going to do me too. We can be, we can keep it cordial. Keep it moving from there. And you just have to be indifferent about it. She you getting a re she's getting an emotional response from you, which is turning her off, which is kind of like what she wants is validation. But it's turning her off, and basically she's going back to hop on this other guy's pole because he's not on that type of time. He's cool. He's letting her do her. You got your man. I be that dude. I'm keeping it cordial with you, and we have good. We have fun when we together. I let that man do all the emotional stuff. I'm cool with being Tyrone. So all that wilding out, some people like dysfunction. Some women like that, see that stuff. In her case, she's, trust me guys, you're not winning any points by getting all emotional and wilding out and trying to hold her accountable for her cheating on you. Cause she's not gonna look at it that way. She's gonna look at it as you weren't fulfilling some needs of hers or you did this or you did that. She's not your wife, bro. It looks like y'all in college or whatever, whatever y'all got going on there. Your boys are like, bro, just relax, man. The way, the way you saw her is not really what it is or what it was, what you thought it was. She didn't look at your relationship in the same way, man. And that's what you need to come to terms with and be able to move on, man. Bottom. So, guys, if you catch your guy, make sure you check him. 
Make sure you pull him to the side. Don't let him do anything crazy that will put him in prison, in jail, you know, or either no longer with us. So this is a prime example, guys. Don't ever do this. I know that those emotions, you have to be able to control them, man, even with stuff like this right there on the spot. No, you guys be like, but JR, we should be able to lose it. We should be able to go off. She should have done it. If you're centered and secure in yourself and you know that you're a good dude, hey man, I'm not saying you're supposed to be emotionalist, but you learn to be in control of these things and you learn to react appropriately. And don't be no sucker, man. So with that being said, man, that's my advice. I know you guys probably like, oh, you know, uh, he should be able to do it. She, she's for the streets, you know. Uh. <laughs> None of it doesn't make. I mean, it doesn't make you a better person, man. Hey, I want revenge. I want revenge. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, man. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Kelly and Link. Book that one on one with yours truly. Make sure you guys subscribe to my backup channel. Follow me on Instagram. And make sure you guys purchase all my books and merch like right now. The link is in the description. That being said, man, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the almighty. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's beef maker. I put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from God. Blessings we send to the ghetto you them.